welcome to another Monday's video. First of all, sorry it's been a while, couldn't be helped. Secondly, look at that cat, just posing. Just, just, but there she is. <laughs> I feel like I might be upstage with the cats in this. And I am sat on the kitchen floor. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure why. The last two weeks have been manic. July has been incredibly crazy. Um, we started off by going to Cornwall for a little family trip and then me and Tom had uh, a weekend away together, just us two, for um, Matt and Emma's uh, 10 year wedding anniversary. I wore a wedding dress, it was amazing. Um, and then since then, I've been up in Manchester filming um, and then back down um, to, for a, a long weekend away with my family in the Cotswolds. So not just, not just us, but um, with my sister and uh, my brother and their families and, um, and my, uh, my dad and my mum and, 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 and so on. Um, so uh, th that was lovely. And then I went back up to Manchester this week and then I was poorly. Um, uh, and then this week, Tom's away. Tom's in Transylvania on a trek, and uh, and then uh, and then at the end of the week, I go on a book tour with Paige Toon and Lindsay Kelk. I'll pop the dates for that down below. Um, just in case. I think there might be a few uh, tickets left. I'm pretty sure London sold out, but you can check. And there's Chorley Wood, um, and then I mean I'm saying this, I don't know the actual dates, but uh, Chorley Wood is on Friday. I know that because I'm not at the airport to pick Tom up. Then Saturday, me and Tom are at Yauk. Um, and then, uh, so that's us two together, so I'm not with Paige and Lindsay that day, although they are doing stuff. And then Sunday, I am at, in Newcastle, Monday, Edinburgh, and Tuesday, Liverpool. There we go, I'll pop the actual dates and what they're, you know, some, uh, they're July, July, the very last bit of July. Um, but yeah, it has been absolutely manic, and, and, uh, and I think part of the reason for that is, is because we've had this, you know, we had four days in Cornwall, then we had, um, you know, a, a few days away in the Cotswolds, and, uh, and then uh, obviously a couple of days away for Emma and Matt's as well, and, um, and actually it was really important for us to factor in those, um, those moments of family time this month. I think I just knew, I always knew that it was going to be a particularly busy month. I always knew that it was going to be our last real chance of going away before the baby arrives and, and kind of making the most of the summer. <laughs> making the most of the summer. It's the end of July and I, I feel like the summer is done. It's not, obviously. Um, uh, it's getting hotter, people. So I think uh, it's the first time I've kind of felt like actually factoring in that family time and, and making sure that's there, booking stuff so that work can't come in and and uh, and you know kind of make us go oh okay well nothing's booked let's just do that work. Um, it, it's it's paid off because otherwise I think me and Tom like we literally have been we're coming together to watch Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> and then it has been very much like passing each other the baton, uh, the parenting baton, uh, the ruler of the household baton, the one in charge, the referee baton. Um, uh, so it has been uh, quite chaotic, but brilliant. Uh, I went up to Manchester. I don't know how much I'm actually allowed to say, but uh, I am co-presenting something with someone else. Uh, and the other person, Nigel Clark, has said that uh, it's a brand new show for CBeebies. So I guess I'm allowed to say that I'm presenting a brand new show for CBeebies. Um, it's a really special project, really special. And, um, and uh, so the last couple of weeks have been sort of in and out of that. And, uh, and there's been lots of scripts to learn and, um, uh, and songs and stuff. And, and that's why I've kind of been... Um, focusing on that and not here because sometimes I, I mean my mind my mind and my brain and my memory are just they can, I, I just don't want to hold people back I don't want my memory to be the thing that causes you know a day on set to be absolutely awful so it has meant that I've had to really really knuckle down uh, even to the point actually at lunch times I haven't been talking to anyone I've just been sat in my room going over the episode that we're doing that afternoon which feels really antisocial 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 and and it's not very nice of me it's not very friendly um I've been nice on I have been nice don't get me wrong I have been nice I've not been mean to people 
I just have had to kind of uh, kind of go okay and uh, <laughs> so evenings I've not gone out and, uh, and had drinks with everyone drinks I've not sat there with a still water um, I've not um, yeah I've not been able to you know enjoy lunch and the social aspect uh, of being in a production and being part of something like that but uh, however I am really, really, really happy with what we created. I saw a rough, a rough edit of the first episode, which you guys won't be seeing for a long time, um, and uh, it made me smile throughout. So I hope that is what it does for other people and kind of encourages them and just makes them feel good. There we go. Uh, I, I probably said too much. Nigel said far too much, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Nigel. <laughs> Another reason why I really felt like I had to focus is, so I, so we came back from the Cotswolds on the Monday, then Tom's birthday was on the Tuesday, that's this week. And then, um, oh, I mean, the Cotswolds, Tom was sick. Before I went up to up filming, Buddy was sick. Um, and then the following weekend, Tom was sick. And then, uh, so on the Tuesday, it was Tom's birthday. I felt a bit funny all day, but I had to work that day as well on something else. And sometimes I do get a little bit, anxious um knowing that there's so much on um you know kind of which is a horrible thing because you kind of want to live in every moment and and enjoy every project that you're doing rather than feel like you're kind of like okay that's done now what that's done now, you know you don't want to be like that so um i do try not to i try to focus on the job that i'm doing at that specific moment rather than kind of going two jobs ahead because i just find it's all a bit too much, it's all a bit overwhelming. The joy of freelance. And so on the Tuesday, when I left here, I felt a bit funny. Tried to listen to him to some hypnobirthing in the car. And um, and even Holly de Cruz, my lovely Holly de Cruz, did not manage to make me feel calm. I just felt a bit sick, so I ended up um, switching that off. And, and on the train there, I just feel like, like just going over my lines, just feeling like it was made maybe a little bit of anxiety. Of wanting to go in and you know get everything done and be be good <laughs> um uh, bear in mind this is the second week so i don't know why i felt this but and then that night i had an awful night's sleep so it was obviously a it started to build up already had an awful night's sleep uh and just had a tummy bug basically the tummy bug got me so which meant that i couldn't film on wednesday which meant that i was there up in manchester um in a hotel room not filming, not doing my job, knowing that Nigel had to go in and cover for me, knowing that, you know, I was putting everyone out. And so that's why probably on Thursday and Friday, which Friday would have been a much more relaxed day when I could have actually spoken to people, um, I, I had to be more focused than ever because they were fully loaded. Um, on the flip side though, while I was in my hotel room on the Wednesday, I did watch Me Before You. And I love Me Before You, the book. Uh, I've never watched the film. I do have a thing. What do I have a thing? I, I say I have a thing about book uh, to film uh, like adaptations, but actually I don't. I don't at all. I love it. I love seeing someone's vision and how they've turned what I've had in my mind and how they've created it into something else. It does annoy me slightly when locations, names, friends are changed because it will be more, um, I don't know, more widely accept it I don't know anyway but me before you I felt was really loyal to the book and I absolutely loved it are there any more book to film adaptations that you guys have seen that you think gee you should really watch that also Tom's not really been in the mood for a rom-com since that's been out I don't know why romance is not dead in our marriage but um uh, I think when we are watching stuff together either it is um either man based or Actually, it's always what Tom wants to watch. Then there aren't a lot of rom-com made rom-coms made these days. There really aren't. I feel like there is a big gap there, and I don't understand why. I love a rom-com. Love does make the world go round. Love does make people happy. I feel like there should be more rom-coms. I don't understand why. Instead of rom-coms, there are more films about nasty people. Me. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I've told you about this weekend's book signing. That was very haphazard at the start. Sorry about that. Um, what else is going on at the moment? I feel like that's it. 
Uh, I tried to do an experiment with the kids today. Puffin had sent Tom this box of stuff to, to create slime. Uh, it was, um, it's for like a, to celebrate the launch of The Creek is coming out of paperback this week on Thursday. And, um, and so Tom's like, oh, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. You know, feel free to do it with the boys if you want while I'm away. I was like, yeah, that sounds great. Make great content because I've not been doing anything. <laughs> and the boys will love it. They love getting messy and using their hands and stuff. I say that, Buddy does. Buzz, not so much. He was like, oh, it's so bad. Um, and uh, step two, step two, I missed out a vital ingredient. Vital. Which meant that nothing ever happened with the slime. It just, I don't know, it just went wrong. It all went wrong. And then because Buzz was a bit like, oh, it's on my hands, and Buddy was happy, tidied up Buzz, which in hindsight always cleaned up the little one first. Um, uh, and then once Buzz was clean, I turned round to find that Buddy had completely painted this area over here that's off camera, that you cannot tell. Um, but I mean, oh my gosh, it was just everywhere, everywhere. Both boys have gone to bed, their hands are still blue. Uh, I have blue feet, I don't know exactly how it got on my feet, but I didn't get to wash off the dye in time. Uh, that video will be going up at some point. Maybe next Monday. Maybe. But then I do have to do an eight month pregnancy update. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about this off, off camera. I'll do a little bit of organisation. Tom's gone on the trek. Um, he is obviously uh, doing the Copperfield Trek to Transylvania with Fabulous Magazine. Um, I am a patron for Copperfield. Cannot get the boob love message out there enough. You need to know your signs and symptoms. It's not just a lump. Uh, and also it affects men, not just women. 400 men a year in the UK alone are diagnosed with breast cancer. That's a lot of men considering, you know, people just don't think they can get it. Um, so it's worth knowing your signs and symptoms. Um, I should also link then below to the Copperfield website where you can see all the signs and symptoms and um, it tells you about how to check. Uh, and also, I'll, I'll link to Tom's donation page um, because, uh, yeah, they're obviously not only raising awareness for the signs and symptoms and um, how important it is for people to get to know their bodies, but also they're raising money. And so far, they're on £147,000, which is unbelievable, um, but uh, let's try the, uh, to get them a little bit higher. I, I still feel a bit sick, but I think that's maybe exhaustion from... Um, filming and because we have had a busy July and because I've been ill and then really really pushed myself and uh, the fact that it's hot and that I'm very very pregnant. What is the date? What is the date? Can I call myself eight months pregnant yet? Nah, I'm a, f I'm a few days off. A few days off being eight months pregnant. What are you doing? So I have this week obviously without Tom um, and, uh, and I've got <laughs> yesterday, so my first day back, I had one child wake up, so Friday night uh, I got home really, really late. Buzz woke up and I was like, oh, I'll go up, I'll go up. He told me he wanted Tom. Cried because he wanted Tom. And then I gave Buddy a kiss. You know when he kisses them a little bit too, um, too, mm, yeah, you probably want to squeeze them a bit. And um, I did that to Buddy and he told me to go away. So I didn't know how this week was going to go. So the fact that today has actually been really, really lovely. I mean, we spent a big chunk of it set up in the <laughs> climbing frame, uh, a little house thingy and, uh, and sharing a bowl of strawberries. So that's nice. If we're doing that all week, I'm going to bosh it. Not if we're doing experiments though. I did have a few other experiments up my sleeve. What are you doing? Actually, if any other parents have any like, oh, you should do this little activity, like arts and crafts activity, because the likelihood is, guys, we're going to be opening the doors, the kids are going to be out in the garden, or we're gonna be doing some arts and crafts type stuff. I'm not gonna be up to like walking them, play, like going places with them and trying to juggle Buddy running off and stuff like that. I think, um, yeah, if, if, if I'm on my own, then I just think that's a, that's a bit of a silly one. Um, so trying to make things easy for myself and to have it so that we're all having fun rather than me just going, get back here! <laughs> Anyway, I've got to go water the grass because that is like straw. Everywhere is like straw because it's so hot. I am just chatting a lot.
so I shall go. But this has been lovely. Nice to just sit down and chat to a camera. Um, I have actually really, really missed you. So whenever I'm not with you, don't think I'm not thinking of you because, you know, totes um <laughs> Right, I better go because this cat's going to knock this camera over in a minute. I shall speak to you very, very soon. Love you lots. Bye. We are here on this very earth to love and to be loved. Oh,